Hey guys, this is Cypher117 from the place of Minecraft. Um, and today we're going to be doing the first in a series of tutorials on how to use World Edit. Uh, now, basically, the way this tutorial is going to work is because Cmondi doesn't know everything about World Edit, although he does use it um, for some stuff on the server. Um, I'm going to basically be teaching him, and through him learning, hopefully you're going to learn as well. Yeah, so, what what is World Edit? Tell me. Um, well, basically, I'm, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> um, basically, <laughs> with promise. It's, uh, it's, it lets you do massive, like, editing of blocks on, just, just on a really big scale. So, you, basically, you create cubes of materials, you can create walls, you can, so say you created like a tower or something, you could then repeat that tower along a wall for your, like your castle. Or I mean, you can even regenerate the whole scenery again. You muck up your scenery somehow, you can regenerate to, to almost what it was before, kind of, maybe. Not sure about that. Okay. <laughs> um, basically, well, you know what, you'll probably learn best what it's good for just by teaching. So, I'm going right. to get C-Mundy to create just, just a Just before you go here, um, um, there'll be a number of resources linked in the description uh, various websites oh, which yeah. help you use World yeah. Edit. Just okay, basically when you're using World Edit, the, you're going to be referring to items using their ID. So, for example... Look at that! Stop, stop doing I can that. critical punch you from here! Shush. Oh, okay, yeah. basically, um, so say sand, instead of writing sand, although you can write just S-A-N-D, you, you could use the number 12, or for these steps over here, you could use 43. These things I'm jumping on. Now, there. these are just the block IDs of the items. Basically, it's just something becomes it's, very useful when using yeah. things like World Once You don't have to remember them. Like, you could just type sand, like I said. Right. But anyway. We've been going on for long enough. Basics. Okay. Right, yeah. So, let's, let's build a wall. So, so to start with, um, you can you got to select an area. Oh, and by the way, we're using this thing called the World Edit CUI. Basically, it puts a box around what you've selected so that you can see it. You'll see it in a moment once I've given myself a wand. the wand. Now, to do this, you just do slash slash wand. Now, let's stress first, the server you're running must have World Edit installed first before you can actually use this, of course. Now, the wooden axe is the is the def is the default item for it. Now, you could just give yourself a wooden axe, but wand's easier to type. So, as you can see now, I have the wand. And as Tom said... I have a thing which makes shows me my selection. That's amazing. I'll put I'll link in the description that mod as well. So teach me, Tom. Okay. So we're gonna create a wall. So left click on one end and then right click on the other to select this. This is the base of the wall which I already created. So now you're gonna use a command called expand. So you're gonna type slash slash expand. Everything to do with world it is double forward slash. So yeah. What do I want to do? Um, let's say. Let's say expand it four, and then U for up. Now, when you're expanding, you can use U for up, D for down, N for north, S for south, E for east, and W for west. Or, for the north, south, east, and west directions, you can just point with your mm -hmm. character in the direction, and then you can just leave out the thing, and it will just, by default, expand in the direction you're facing. Anyway, so now you've done that, you're going to want to create your wall. So first, just try doing slash slash set, and then space one. One is the ID for smooth stone. Okay, so basically you've created a plain simple wall, and you notice you've actually overwritten the uh, the half steps, which we had at the bottom here, which is going to be our nice little border. So, right, select um, your wall again. And Do you want to just select the bottom? No, no, we'll no. Select the whole wall, and we'll just we'll just undo from there so by doing slash slash undo. Now, to stop that from happening, you're going to do slash slash shift, shift, yes. space, one, because you're going to move it one block, and U for up, one block up the way, and press enter. So now you've moved your selection, so it's above the uh, half steps at the bottom, and so now if you type slash slash set one, press one for smooth stone, remember, there we go, we got a basic wall on the go. Um... Now, say some guy, like, he, he didn't, this guy, this hypothetical guy, he didn't want just your simple, plain old wall. He wanted <laughs> something a bit fancier. Maybe, maybe he wanted a wall 
with gold blocks because he's a noob and he uses gold blocks. Can I quickly it. point out something? Because this this does annoy me a bit. Now, if you want to get rid of the selection of the CUI thing, um, you just do double forward slash sail cuboid, and that gets rid of it. Oh yeah, that's if you're using the CUI. Yeah. Anyway, only if you're using the CUI. Say so, this noob he built his wall, and he put some gold blocks, and you're like, and you're like, noob, stop using gold blocks. So you want to replace him with something. So you're gonna select an area. Select why don't you just select the whole wall again? I select the whole wall, yeah. So you can see this isn't gonna affect anything else. And you're gonna slash slash replace space. And because we say we didn't know the ID of gold blocks, which I actually can't remember, you can just type the word gold block. Oh, all is one word, no space. No space. There's the first error. Uh gold block space and we can replace it with let's say forty three. 43 is more half steps. Um, so now you've got it looks a little better, but you want to you want to repeat this design all over your wall. So for that, you're going to need to use the stack command. So if you select this block down here in the bottom right, and then you select one of the blocks up here, the one I'm standing on. Oh. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah. The, this this one above the, the yeah. thingy, above the. 43. Oh, above it. What are you doing? Oh, you're on this one. Yeah, that one. And so now you're going to use the stack command. And basically what that does is it repeats your selection, the specified, the specified amount of times, in the direction you indicated. So face along the wall. And that means when you stack, it's just going to be in that direction. And you're going to type slash slash stack. I'm just going to estimate here. So that's one, two... Three, four, five, slash slash stack five. Now come back round, and magically, you've repeated that selection across the entire wall. This is a really really helpful command, by the way. It's so good for building any sort of repetitive structure. You can just do that using stack. Now, so let's say you wanted an arch in the middle of your wall, um, and you wanted that arch to repeat. This is where stack might get a little bit confusing. So if you just select the arch, only the arch, just like there to there. Uh, yeah, that's good. Or the whole wall? No, no. <laughs> no there. Right, come look at my screen. Okay, 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 okay. Right. Okay. Um. So now, now let's come and stand over here, and you wanna. You want to repeat that nice arch design so it sort of extends a little bit into your building. So you're going to type slash slash stack, maybe two. There you go. Oh, oh no, you basically just, what you've done here is you've created like a corridor, which isn't really what we were going for. It might you may be. want it. Yeah, and, but, uh, um, so do undo, slash slash undo. And now to create some distance between your arches, you're going to use expand again. So you're going to select some air blocks. Expand, let's say, two or three. Oh, we'll go three. So now you've selected some air on the other side of your arch. All these blocks here are air. Uh, now, when you type slash slash stack two or whatever again. Now, it's taken into account the fact that you've, you want some empty space between your arches. And it stacks them like that. So now you can have your crazy building or whatever through here. Um, right, I'm just going to quickly go through one final command, and that's a move command. Remember we used shift to shift our selection. Move, it moves the blocks within the selection as well, um, instead of just moving the selection itself. So select this final arch. Mm -hmm. And now face um, down, the, down the sort of little thing of arches and say you want this one a bit further away so you can just do slash slash move and then two blocks slash slash move two and you've moved the arch two blocks and there you are they're the basic commands for getting you started with world edit um, I would like to know actually that you don't have to use the wand you can use just nothing if you want to throw away the wand a second I'll show you how uh, you can use your hand. So if you do slash slash um, pause, 
slash slash P O S, and then you do one. That's your first position, and it just it creates a selection where your feet are, and then you can point somewhere else, and you can do. Um, so so you should I point there? Yeah, just point there, and you do slash slash H pause, and that does the the way your hand is like pointing, and that's remember there's no space between the H pause and the two. Now if you're a griefer, you would type slash slash set TNT. Or lava. That's that's almost as bad. Now, just quick I forgot I was gonna say I was gonna say something. I was gonna note something. Nice one. I can't remember. Oh well. So, is that us done? <laughs> Let's hope it wasn't important. Yeah, it was kind um, of a little bit. Almost yeah. Important. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay guys. Let's wrap it up there. So Have thank, fun with thank, thank you for watching and um Yeah. There'll be more tutorials to come. Oh crap, I'm on fire.